Hi, so I'm going to be telling you about a very special and unique work visa, obviously, to work in the UK. So the reason why this work visa is so unique and so special is because it lets you come to the UK and work without getting a job before moving to the UK. If you've got any experience of moving to the UK or wanting to work in the UK, you know that you always need to have a job and a certificate of sponsorship before you can move to the UK. But with this visa, you don't need to get a job. So I'm going to be telling you all about this particular visa. I'll be telling you the requirements. How do you get them? What are they looking for? Can you bring your family? You know, how much are the visa fees? What are the T's and C's? So I'll be telling you all the whole shabang. So you want to make sure that you're watching this video till the very end. If you're somebody who is interested in moving to the UK, or if you're already in the UK and you're looking for other opportunities, maybe to just expand your horizon. Because look, I'm all about bringing you the best, you know, the cheapest and the most affordable ways of moving to the UK. Because I don't want to hear people saying, oh, I've paid somebody £20,000, Melvis, you know, to get me a UK visa or certificate of sponsorship. And now I've lost the money and I've got nothing. I don't want to hear stories like this. And that's why if you're watching this channel, you need to make sure that you're implementing the things that I'm saying. So if you haven't subscribed, do hit subscribe right now. Now, turn on that notification button because you want to be the first to be notified when I drop a new video on here every single day at 8 a.m. So let's get to the point. Look, this particular visa is so special, is so unique, and you want to make sure that obviously, like I say, you're implementing all of what I'm going to be spilling out. Get a pen, get a piece of paper and write down. So this visa has many benefits. First, let me tell you what the benefits are for the UK, you know, letting people come to this country to work but without getting a job. Look, it's an exceptional talent visa. As the name suggests, it means that you need to have exceptional talent. Oh yes. So if you're watching this now, oh yes, you're watching this, it could be that you've got exceptional talent. If you do, please, you know, this is an opportunity for you to move to the UK without the hassle and bustle of applying for jobs. And look, Exceptional talent can be in any field, whether you're in medicine, you know, you're in art, you're in, you know, football, you're an engineer, you're in IT, you know, technology, you know, fashion. It doesn't matter the industry where you are. You can move to the UK, you know, with this particular visa, as long as you are exceptionally talented and outstanding in whatever you do. It doesn't matter as well where you're moving from, whether you're in Africa, you're in Asia, you're in Europe, you're already in the UK, you can apply for this visa anytime. So like I say, have you got any exceptional talent? If you do, are you outstanding at what you do? If the answer is yes to these two, then it's likely that you would qualify for this visa. So you want to make sure that you, you, you know, read deep into the visa, like I'm saying, do some research because the whole point is I'm just bringing this to you so that you're aware because it may be that this is something you're not aware of. So when I'm saying this to you, it's just to give you that hint of what else is out there because look, everybody is in the rush now, you know. Applying for all these carer jobs. I'm seeing people who are top scientists applying for carer jobs. I'm seeing university professors. They're all applying for carer jobs. I'm seeing people who are medical doctors, experienced consultants in different countries. They're all rushing to apply for carer jobs in the UK. And I'm like, prof, do you know that there are better options for you? Do you know that there's something else you can do? So please, if you're watching this and all you're thinking about is applying for a carer visa in the UK, I'm urging you to explore these other options because I want you to move to the UK in the best way possible. I want you to have a brilliant start when you move to the UK because look, how you start your journey in the UK is going to impact and influence how you feel about your UK experience. I know what I'm talking about because in case you're wondering by the way who I am and this is the first time meeting, my name is Melvis. I work in England, so I'm, I live in the UK and I work as an advanced nurse practitioner for the NHS and I also have a private career coaching program where I support, you know, with career progression in the UK, nurses, carer, student nurses, you know, if you're a nurse, for example, you're thinking about career progression, how can you go about it, what do you need to do, how do you specialize, if you're a carer, you know, you're like, oh my goodness, Melvis, I hate my job, you know, I just want to do something else or I need to have a job. What do you do if you want to transition into nursing or medicine or other non-clinical healthcare jobs? Because look, as a carer, you don't only have to transition into a nurse. There are other options available for you. So I support with all of that. Or if you want to, you know, study nursing and you're like, oh, I'm not sure what to do. What are the pathways? You know, am I too old? And all the usual procrastination. 
then I'm your girl. You need to make sure that you check me out, you know, join my private coaching program so that I can support you with all of that. So when I'm talking about all of this information, look, I know exactly what I'm talking about. In case you're wondering, you know, so they're thinking, oh, Melvis, who is this? What's she going on about? I know what I'm talking about. So please, I don't want the entire universe applying for these carer jobs when there are better options. So again, that's why I'm bringing this to you. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel, I don't know what you're still waiting for. You should hit that subscribe button now. Turn on that notification button because when I'm dropping a new video on here every day at 8 a.m., you want to be the first to be notified and make sure that you check it out. I've done videos about all sorts of things, you know, all types of visas about moving to the UK, how to apply for jobs, you know, visa sponsorship, how do you get that? How do you know that your certificate sponsorship is legit? You want to check all of those videos out. But here we're going to be talking about the exceptional talent visa. And I'm talking about what what is what are the advantages to the UK of you coming to this country without you know having a job so the uk wants you know the uk is a very smart country you know what i mean because they know that many people want to move to this country but what they, they are good at is selecting the people that they want and then getting rid of those people that they feel that they don't need and that they don't want that's what they do so for example you know with this exceptional talent visa what they do is they want to get the best talent from all the other countries to move to the uk hassle free they don't want you to be stressed out when you're moving they want to make sure that if you have the best people in any field in any country they want to make it easy for them to move to the uk because once you move here if you're so good at what you do and you're going to be doing it in this country then obviously the country is benefiting from your skills from your experience from your expertise because you're going to be implementing all of that here if you're an artist and you move to the uk you know you're going to be using your skills here if you're an engineer you move to the uk and you're working you're going to be using those skills if you're a doctor or you know whatever field you're in that's why they benefit from this visa and they make you not you know you don't need to have a job before you move so what are the advantages to you as the person applying? So there are so many advantages for you. The first advantage is that this is the only visa that enables you in the UK to have indefinite leave to remain, which is permanent residency after three years only. For all the other work visas, you need to be in the UK for at least five years. But with this visa, they're going to say to you, look, you're an exceptional individual. We love your talent. So in exchange, you're going to become a permanent resident in this country after three years only. Look. That is a big deal because if right now you're in the UK or you want to come to the UK, if you have to work in this country for five years before you apply, there's a big difference if you can apply after three years. Because what this means is, and this is the same for your family as well. So what this means is that if after three years you become a permanent resident in the UK and your family as well, because your family are also eligible, you know, all of them, look, you're going to be considered as a home student. If you want to go to university, you want to study, you know, you want to apply for advantages that British citizens have, you're going to be entitled to all those things. So there's a massive advantage that you have. The, another advantage is also that you're able to work in the UK. Obviously, you can change companies anytime. You don't need to inform the immigration services. If, for example, you come to the UK on a different kind of work visa, so you're a carer or, you know, whatever visa you've got, or a student, you need to inform whether well, your employer or your, you know, whoever, if it's a university, they need to inform the immigration services every single time that anything happens to you. If you miss work, you know, or they think you're no longer working or you change your employer, all those things, they will need to inform the immigration service. But with this visa, you're exempted from all of that because, again, you're an exceptional individual. And so they're giving you the privilege, you know, that you deserve for your outstanding work that you have done. So that's a huge advantage for you. And also, like I'm saying, you can bring your family on this visa. If you've got children, you've got a husband, you've got a wife, you've got a partner, you can bring your family as well on this particular visa. And then let's go to the requirements. So if you don't need to have a job to move to the UK on this particular visa, then how do they assess your eligibility? Thank you very much for asking that because that's a very good question. And that's what I'm going to be talking about now. So if you're talented, let's say you're a scientist, for example, because remember that this visa, they accept talents from all different industries, you know, whatever it is that you're doing. So there are UK organizations, there are six UK organizations that represent different professions. So depending on your profession, you'll need to contact a specific organization. There are only six in the UK. So you need to get endorsement from these organizations. What do I mean? If, for example, you are, I don't know, a researcher in Africa and you want to come to the UK on this particular visa, you need to contact the organization in the UK that endorses researchers coming from abroad 
so that if they can endorse you, basically they're going to ask you for documents and say, okay, Melvis, you're saying that you're an exceptional individual. What have you done to prove to us that you're exceptional? So if you've been doing research on whatever thing that has gone on well, or you have this brilliant idea, then you need to present it to them. They'll look into that particular idea and they'll say to you, Melvis, we think that you've done brilliantly well. And look, we're more than happy to endorse you. So they're endorsing you to say, yes, Melvis is who she says she is she's an exceptional individual and we're happy to give you this certificate of recognition to say you're exceptional so if you get that certificate that's what you're going to use to apply for your visa that's all you need that's simple isn't it of course it is so you need to have that skills you need to have that endorsement depending on whether you're in technology you're in art you're in fashion there is a particular uk um you know endorsement organization that you need to contact and there are just six of them again that's what i'm saying if you're interested in this visa you need to do some more research look at your own skills look at what they're gonna need and then from there you can just apply for your visa so that's one of the things there's also another way that you can get you know a visa if you don't want to have that endorsement so if you do, if you're thinking oh my god you know i'm an engineer i don't want to go through this whole endorsement process there's another way that you can go about it and by the way if you're still watching this now and you haven't subscribed to the channel i want you to hit subscribe turn on the notification button right now because like i've said you want to be the first to be notified and again you want to make sure you watch this video till the end because i'm going to be telling you you know more about the requirements how to apply how long it takes you know your children how much of the visa fees so you need to stick on till the end because this is very vital information that i'm bringing to you you know in this video free of charge because i don't want to hear that you know again people have paid ten thousand pounds twenty thousand pounds they have lost money they are broke they have sold land houses no you don't need to do all that just a little bit of research is going to make you get what you want and so i want you to leave a comment in the comment section and say melvis i will implement this because look I don't want to be wasting my time doing this YouTube video for nothing and you're just going to watch it and be like, you're just another YouTuber blabbing because I'm not here as a YouTuber. I'm here to bring you useful information and I'm using this medium because I know that it's a way to reach you because if I had not used this medium, would you have been watching this video right now? Maybe not. So that's why I'm using this medium. So I, I'm all about implementation. I want you to implement this information. So please leave a comment in the comment section and say, Melvis, I will implement this at least it just gives me that encouragement to say mel there's all this research you've done about this visa has not gone to waste because yes you're implementing it thank you very much so if you're thinking of not going through that endorsement process there's something else that you can do so all you need to do is you know if you've won an award in your particular um industry in your country then you can use that award to say to the british um, immigration service when you apply for your visa look i am melvis i'm a researcher i have won an award for the best i don't know clinical researcher in my country and this is recognition of my skills so you can do that as well but look that award it better be a legit award it better be an award that is of substance you know what i mean like the Nobel peace prize if you talk about Nobel peace prize everybody knows what it is that's a good example that i'm giving because most of us know what that is so if you win like a Nobel peace prize and you want to come to the uk obviously there's no complexity all you need to do is go to the embassy apply and say look i won the Nobel peace prize for xyz and so i think i deserve a uk you know exceptional talent visa and look 100 percent you're going to be getting that visa so if you won an important award for your industry in your country then you can also use that to apply for the visa mm -hmm. very simple straightforward but just make sure that you've got everything right so those are some of the things that you need to think about obviously like we've said and then what about the actual process therefore of applying for the visa mm -hmm. how long does it take so you can apply for this visa out of the uk so if you're still out of the uk you can apply or you can also apply for this visa if you're in the uk which is very good because if you're already in the uk now watching this video and you're thinking melvis i didn't know about this visa before but now that you've spoken about it i've got such exceptional talent and look i want to make the most of it then please by all means do you can apply for this visa even if you're already in the uk on a different visa because i understand that information is power you know so there are different times that you're going to find out about things but i hope that if you have that talent please don't waste this information make sure that you implement it because look i want you to succeed i want you to excel and i want you to thrive i want you to have the best life 
in the UK. And like I've said, I have a private coaching program where I support nurses with career progression in the UK, carers, you know, get the best jobs. Because look, for me, coming to the UK is not enough. What you do with your life in this country is what I'm really interested in. You know, because some people are like, oh, we're now in the UK and that is, you know, we've, we've made it. And this look, that's what you're going to feel when you're still out of the UK. But when you step foot here and you start experiencing the challenges, you're going to be like, girl, I need to do more with myself. I need to earn more. I need to achieve more. So if you're feeling that way, make sure that you check me out. You know, get in contact with me and I can support you with all of that journey. And that's why on this channel, you're going to see a lot of content about how to really excel in the UK. You know, entrepreneurial opportunities as well. You know, you want to start up a side business. What should you do? Because look, this time and age, if you don't have a side business and all you're doing is working, I can guarantee you, you're going to die broke. I don't want that for you. I don't want that for myself. None of us want that for ourselves. So we need to make hay while the sun shines. So back to our time scales for this visa. So how long does it take? So if you apply from out of the UK, it takes about three weeks to get your visa out. So if you apply today, within the next three weeks, you should be getting your visa through the post. You open your passport. You're like, oh my goodness, I'm moving to the UK. And please better let me know because the whole point I'm sharing this information with you, I want to know when you get that visa so that I can celebrate with you. You know, we can meet up in the UK, have a drink together and just be like, girl, boy, welcome to the country. You did it. So that's the whole point I'm sharing this with you. So that's it if you're applying from outside the UK. If you're applying from within the UK, how long does it take? It takes a bit longer. Mm -hmm. if, you're, if you're already in the UK and you apply, it's going to take about eight weeks. So it takes about eight weeks. But as you know, the UK always has different options. There's priority visa options that you can get a visa sooner if that's what you want. So if you pay more money, so the more money you pay, you know, the quicker you're going to get your visa out. Because as you know, the UK... They're very smart when it comes to business and services. They have a smart way of getting money, you know, of, you know, business, business acumen. Very, very good. And that's why, you know, they do all these visas because then they bring in a lot of money, a whole lot of money. Now, we're going to move to the documents as well as, you know, some there are some few extra documents as well, as well as the fees. So if you're still watching right now and you haven't subscribed, look. You need to hit that subscribe button right now. Turn on that notification button. Leave that comment saying, Melvis, I will implement. And one last thing that I want you to do is like the video. Look, if you're enjoying this content I'm bringing to you, like the video. When I look at those likes, it makes me know that you like this type of content and I can bring content that is so similar to this. So if this is good content that you like and you want to see me make more of this, all you need to do is like the video. That's very simple, right? Of course it is. Sure, it is. Thank you. Thank you for the like. So let's move on to the documents. So we've talked about the main requirements. Now we're going to talk about all the documents that you need to include to just enhance your application, to just make that visa application even like stronger, more powerful, to just make it that when they open that your application and they're looking at it, should we give Melvis his visa? Should we not? Look, nobody can say no. Because like I say, I'm here to bring you the best tips to make sure that not only do you get any visa that you want when you go for the visa application, but you get the best opportunities that you rightfully deserve. So how can you enhance your visa application? How can you make sure that you don't get a no, you get a definite yes, and look, you can start packing your bags. When you're sending that visa application, you know, those three weeks that you're waiting, you're like, oh my goodness, I'm going to the UK. Look, positive vibes all over. You can start packing and doing all of that. What extra documents do you need? So you need a CV. Mm -hmm. You need to make sure that you do the best CV in your entire life to include in that, you know, application. And when you're doing a CV for the embassy, you know what I mean? You need to make sure that it is unslick. You need to make sure that it is absolutely perfect. You need to make sure that all your skills are laid bare. You know, if there's anything you've ever done in that industry that has impacted the life, that has brought any positivity, you need to include it because they're going to be scrutinizing that application and going, why should we give you this exceptional talent visa? Because the advantages of the visa are so much that you want to go that extra mile to make sure that you demonstrate every single way possible that you meet the criteria. So please include a CV. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much for that. And then the next thing is that you need three recommendation letters. Mm -hmm. So if you're a researcher, for example, in Africa, this is just an example. It doesn't matter, obviously, whether it's fashion, whatever you do. But if you're a researcher and you've done really amazing, exceptional research, look, 
you cannot tell me that there are you don't have three people that can give you a letter of recommendation or three organizations that can give you a letter of recommendation of course you do you you're gonna have three people wouldn't you yes sure so all you need to do is contact three different organizations for example say if you're working in a school or a laboratory whatever you contact them and say to them look can you give me a letter of recommendation please so a letter of recommendation is like saying i melvis i know you um i don't know timmy xyz and you're an exceptional scientist on the 12th of these these days you were able to do this exceptional work which led to the discovery of xyz which has impacted the lives of millions of people in this country because of what you've discovered you know this is just a practical example that i'm just making up please so but that's an example so if you have those letters at least three or as many as possible include them in your you know include them in your application if you've got colleagues that you've worked with that are able to give you those free words it's like references for example please make sure that you get it because that's going to strengthen your application that's going to make them look at it and go oh my goodness this is amazing and please make sure that these are legit as well make sure that these are from real people make sure these are from real organizations make sure that if these people were to be contacted they'll be able to you know 100% say that that is who you are, that you're who you say you are, because you don't want to start on the wrong footing. That's why I'm telling you all of this. So that's one of the things that you need. And also you need 10 proofs of experience. Mm -hmm. It doesn't really end there. So if you've got all this amazing experience in this wonderful field that you're doing and you're so outstanding, again, getting these documents is not going to be so complex. So if you're an artist, for example, have you got any art that you've done? Have you got any samples? Have you got any designs? If you're a fashion designer and you've done exceptionally well and you're outstanding in that particular industry, have you got any samples? What work have you done to prove that that's who you are? Have you got 10 pieces of evidence to show that this is your work? Again, you need to include that in your application because the whole point is that you want to make your application as rich as possible. You want to make those visa and immigration officers have no reason whatsoever to say no to you because look i'm somebody that i don't like no's you know i like a situation where you're going with confidence you know you've got your head eye shoulders out and you're like look i've got this and that's why i'm bringing this info to you again if you haven't liked this video look i don't know what i'm gonna say but please if you're enjoying this content and you're still watching till now i want you to like the video because it just shows me that you're loving it and i should do more like this because obviously the more i do the more helpful it's gonna be and so it's something that we definitely 100% want to keep watching more of. So please, 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 please. And also one thing I'm going to say, if you know anybody that this can benefit them, if you have any friends or relatives that have exceptional talent, that are so good at what they do, that are so outstanding that you think, oh my God, look, Melvis, everything you've said is just this friend of mine or this uncle of mine or this my mom or my dad, please share this with them because you want them to take advantage of this opportunity while this visa is still around because you know laws change all the time so rules are constantly changing if somebody comes and changes the rules you're going to miss out on this opportunity so you want to be of goodwill and share this with anybody that is going to benefit from because like i say i'm seeing people in the uk who have come in they have exceptional talent they're outstanding at what they do and they're all coming to the uk as carers and i'm like man you know how how, how did it get to all this so while I say that I have a private coaching program where I support, you know, carers, nurses with career progression, look, I want you to come in the best way possible. If you don't need to come as a carer, I want to see you thriving in the best thing that you can do. That is my point because I understand how disheartening it is when you're so experienced, you've got so much skill, you've got so much talent, but you feel that you need to let go of who you are you know, just to move to the UK. So please, 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 if you've got any talent, you want to look into all these requirements that we're talking about to make sure that, you know, if you meet the criteria, then please do apply because you're going to have so many advantages rather than just coming with other visas that do not befit your status and do not befit your experience because that experience, you put in effort, you know, to train yourself, to become so good at it. So rightfully so, you should be reaping the fruits of your hard work. Of course you should be you know rightfully so so let's move to the fees as you know the uk when it comes to visa fees they don't mess around you know they have visa fees obviously so for this particular visa to have that endorsement and you know the visa approved you obviously need to pay so there's an initial payment of you know 167 pounds which 
to be fair it's not a lot 167 pounds isn't that bad and then there's then another payment that you have to do of 456 pounds again that's not so bad looking at the visa that you're going to get like i've said this visa you're going to get it either one to five years and on you know in year three you are then eligible to apply for you know permanent residence in the uk then one year after that you can then apply to be a british citizen which it makes this visa the best working visa that you can apply for and move you know in the uk to work this is the best work visa obviously because the requirements are so good you know you're entitled to so much more um you're more free as well you can have career progression you can change your company within that industry and there are no restrictions when it comes to that and also one of the best things about this particular visa is that you can work as self-employed mm -hmm. the other work visas in the uk you're not allowed to work as self-employed which means you cannot set up your own company within the uk you have to be employed by someone else you're not allowed legally to set up a private limited company but with this particular visa you're allowed to work as self-employed you know just to put this into perspective you come to the uk as a carer for example you can't be working as self-employed you always have to be employed by somebody until you have that permanent residence you know or british citizenship but with this visa you can work as self-employed from day one so if you're an artist you just want to do your own art and sell it or whatever it is you're doing you can do that without needing you know an actual uk employer to employ you in those services and look this is something that is so good this is something that gives you a huge advantage over all the other visa types so again you want to make sure that you know you're keeping this in mind you can bring your family like we've said and also like we said if you're applying for this particular visa because you won an award you know so you're not applying through the endorsement rule you're applying because you've won an award you're going to pay 623 pounds for the visa fee so it's 623 pounds for the visa fee um you know for yourself and if you've got if you've got obviously relatives that you want to bring to the uk so you've got like your kids for example your wife you've got your husband you've got your partner and you want to bring them to the uk you also need to pay visa fees for them obviously and that's going to be 623 pounds as well so if you've got six children it's going to be six times 623 if you've got two children it's going to be two times 623 so that's the visa fee they're going to pay for each of your dependents also you need to pay the healthcare surcharge so there is this fee that was introduced a few years ago in the uk which means that if you're um, an immigrant in the uk you need to pay a certain amount of money for healthcare, which means that when you come to the uk obviously you and your family are going to be entitled to free healthcare at the point of use but there is a fee that you do have to pay for all the years that you're you know on the visa so this particular work visa is not exempted from those fees so obviously for yourself you're going to be paying mm, 624 pounds per year which means that if your visa is for three years you're going to pay 624 pounds per year times three how much is that you know you do the maths again if you've got that exceptional talent then i'm sure that this math is not going to be something complex for you to do if they give you a visa for five years you're going to have to pay 624 pounds times five that's how much you have to pay for your health care because when you come to the uk you're going to be entitled to free health care and so they're going to say to you melvis you will need to pay for that health care in advance when you move to the uk what are you actually go to the hospital you're unwell you're healthy it doesn't matter but you need to pay that money in advance for you to get the visa but the good news is that you're dependent so if you're coming with your wife your husband your partner or your children you need to pay the healthcare surcharge for them as well it's also yearly but the good news is that their amount is a bit lower so for them you're going to be paying 470 pounds each so again if you're paying if you're having six children you're going to pay six times 470 pounds that's how much you're going to pay for all of them if you're having two dependents you're going to be paying two times 470 again you do the math i leave that up to you so as you can see it depends whether you're coming alone or you're applying with your family there are implications but another option is that you can come to the uk first and then while you're in the uk and you found a house and you've settled in and you've made more money and you've looked around then maybe you can bring your family then 
but it's all up to you you can come with, you can come together with your family from day one or you can move to the uk first and then bring your family later on it's really all up to you because you've got this exceptional talent and i'm sure you can make a more informed decision obviously so it's gonna be all left to you so you can see that the fees if you're coming with dependence obviously it can really skyrocket and unlike other visas um work visas where your employer has to give you a certificate of sponsorship and they can certify maintenance for your dependents. This particular visa doesn't have that option because you don't get a certificate of sponsorship for this visa. It means that you have to provide, you know, you have to provide that money for your dependents, you know, for the visa fees, healthcare surcharge. Because if you imagine that if the visa fee is, say, I don't know, 600 pounds and you've got four people to bring with you, how much is that? That's four times 600 and something pounds. If you then have to pay healthcare surcharge for yourself, 623, and healthcare surcharge for each of them for 470, the money is going to be going up to thousands of pounds. And again, this is one of the, the things that, that's one of the reasons why the UK likes to bring all these exceptionally talented people. Because you can see how much money each person brings. If you have, I don't know, four children, for example, you can easily spend £10,000 on the visa fees, healthcare surcharge for you and your family to get to the UK. So it is an excellent win-win situation for yourself because you're going to move to the UK and for the UK because not only are you going to bring your talent to this country, but you're going to be paying this amount of money to come for the pleasure of coming here. So, you know, it's up to you now. I've given you the information. Again, thank you for watching up till this moment. I do appreciate your time. I know that you could have been doing better things, but you took the time to watch this video. And so I hope that this information has been helpful. You can implement it. So if you haven't left a comment, I to leave a comment below saying, Melvis, I will implement. If you haven't liked the video, again, this is the opportunity for you to like this video so that I know that you like content like this and I can do more for you because there are so many different uk visa types that if you're not aware of if you don't have somebody to tell you and explain that information to you you may not even be aware that you're entitled and you end up just coming to the uk as a carer earning twenty thousand pounds which look is miserable pay you know it's not good pay because if you come with these other visas you have potential to earn a lot more and have a better outcome for yourself and for your family um than you would on a visa that you're going to be earning twenty thousand pounds so again if you haven't you know subscribed to the channel oh my goodness please this is an opportunity for you to hit subscribe turn on that notification button because like i said i drop a video on here every single day at 8 a.m and my purpose is to bring to you the best ways to move to the uk you know career progression pathways what are some of the best jobs that you can do in the uk how much do they pay what should you go for and look being a nurse obviously have private coaching program for you know nurses carers student nurses people don't want to study nursing people don't want to get into healthcare clinical and non-clinical healthcare jobs where i can support you to get the best jobs in the uk as well as entrepreneurship because ultimately entrepreneurship is something that i'm very passionate about because look no matter the job you have if you're not thinking about a business if you're not thinking about starting something for yourself i can assure you that the probability of you retiring poor broke and miserable very very high because when it comes to employment someone else is always controlling your time someone else has the has your life on their palms you don't want that you know and when it comes to time you don't have control over your time and look when they say time is money i think that time is way more valuable than money so you can't even compare the two so taking at you know taking advantage of your time is something that is a must because then you want to retire early like me for example i'm on a mission to retire by the age of 40 and i'm working incredibly hard to make sure i get there through starting my own side business you know and and also progressing higher up in my career because when you progress in your career not only does it enable you to earn more money but it also gives you access to more opportunities it also gives you access to having people that can guide you having people you can see what other people are doing you get what i mean because you know these are the advantages that come with career progression that you know you can have access to really good people if you get what i mean you know and people that are able to do more that are able to support you that are able to just encourage you you can you can think about other things out of the box you know you can spend your time your extra time instead of working extra hours you can spend that time developing something for yourself that's what i'm really passionate about and so if these are some of the things that you're keen on you want to check out my private coaching program nursing career bootcamp to make sure that you enroll of course you enroll because that's where i can support you 
one to one i can support you closely so that you can you know better or achieve your goals in the uk because i'm all about that obviously in the uk because look if you're going for this exceptional talent visa then there's a lot to you so when you move to this country you want to make sure you're going for the best opportunities you want to make sure that you're not leaving any stone unturned because look life is one so please please leave a comment saying melvis i will implement i need to see that implementation from you i need to see that you are doing extensive research on this particular visa. If you've got any questions, leave them below. If I can do more research on it and bring to you, I will do that because I'm committed, like I've said, to making your life easier, to making that journey smoother, to making sure that you don't end up in the wrong hands. You know, you lose money or you just lose time, especially, like I said, time is way more valuable than the money even. So please make sure you're doing your research if you're trying to move to the UK. You know, if somebody tells you something like I'm doing now, don't even take my word for it. Do more research on it. That's the right thing to do. You know, because you don't you don't want to be like, oh yeah, that's what this person says. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. And then you just sit around, you know. No, no sitting around. It's about implementation. I like implementation. So I hope that you found this really helpful. It's been a pleasure to have you. Thanks for watching till now. You know, I appreciate your time and keep watching the videos. Obviously, like I said, I've done many videos on the channel about similar topics. So if you love this one, you're going to love those ones even more. So keep watching.